This is a pure example of a man feeling invisible. All right, so what's going on, y'all? So it's early this morning. Handled a big responsibility daily of taking Bella to school, but I want to talk about Twitch. And I told myself not to, you know, not to do content on him because I don't know what to say about suicide, you know? Previously, I've said that it's a very selfish thing, and I stand by that, but I do respect this man. And this is, you know, still very fresh. So, if you don't know who Twitch is, he was the dancer, pretty much one of the main dancers on Ellen, if not the only one. He also had a executive producer role so he was getting paid good you know wow all the while showcasing his talents and he seemed happy doing so keyword seemed happy i want to inform y'all about something y'all may not know when speaking on depression a lot of people will say the same thing he or she seemed happy he seemed to be in the prime of his life. I saw them dancing and they looked so happy. Keyword, looked and seemed. Depression doesn't always look like, you know, you're uncontrollably crying. And those are very important words that coincide with depression. To say that it's impossible that he committed suicide to me is foolish because that would be like people saying that depression is not real. And I think that a lot of people are wasting their energy on trying to investigate if there was foul play when there are police and, inv and investigators that are very seasoned in what suicide looks like, what potential foul play looks like, and no matter a person's status, especially when he wasn't on like an actor, a actor's level, and he could have been, you know? But to say that it's just impossible and there had to be some type of foul play, even blaming his wife for his death, I feel like that's really insensitive. She not only has two small kids to look after, she has a teenage daughter with Twitch. And that equals out to at least one of her kids knowing exactly what's going on right this minute. Whether it be on social media or in her real life. I'm at a point where... I'm tired of the conspiracies and I'm tired of people turning something that's pretty simple um, to understand into something very complex without much explanation. Like, I be wanting people to really lay out why you feel like something ain't right. Like, just don't, don't just say something ain't right with that. You got to say a lot more than something ain't right. I need how you feel about it, why you feel that way, and really break it down. A lot of people forget that people, millions of people that came before us, hitting certain milestones like 30 and 40, it can hit really hard. And it can make you really lay out what you've done over the past decades and if within you you don't feel like it was enough or it showed for anything etc this is when depression strikes what i would say is before you start to say something ain't right and this that and the fourth try at least try to put yourself in this gentleman's position 
And I think that there are struggles within the black community. There are struggles within, within being a black woman, being a black male. But overall, I think this is a pure example of a man feeling invisible. Twitch might have had some of his best years on Ellen, and a lot of people might not have thought so, but the consistency that he had on the show, and I sure hope that his time on there wasn't negative and things to that nature because I would hate to start pointing fingers and calling Ellen out for that, you know, because we know that her show recently was canceled or was canceled last year or something. I think that the consistency of it and him putting his all into it and the show ending did result in his demise. Because you go from having this great job to having to basically start back at square one, maybe with another company, depending on how long that takes. So to go from having something to do every day, having the platform in which he really did deserve, to just doing TikToks, just creating content. Some people do it, but it's not for everybody. It could still make you feel like you're not doing enough. Putting your all into social media can can cause a certain level of stress that's not healthy for no man or woman. Mentally or physically. The demand of having videos perform well. And I mean, just it's a lot of things that go into content creating that can have you feeling really low. And it's one of those things where the lows are very low and the highs, it may not be many, but they're really high versus putting your all into your actual career, putting your all in and receiving a whole lot back. Something that I noticed with Twitch was in videos of him dancing with his wife first of all let me say it seemed like they recorded a lot of dance videos together and that's fine you know i'm not judging it but it did kind of bother me not to see him by himself exposing his talent um it's not always about a marriage it's not always about a relationship and some people do get lost in that um, they start to feel like, I need me time. I need peace. You know, I need just to feel my own identity, not my identity as a dad or my identity as a husband. 40, I feel like, is an age where it's, it's yet again one of those huge moments that you take time and reflect. You either end up really really proud of yourself of all you've accomplished or you feel like none of that was good enough and you need to do more you want to do more but you're just completely burnt out it's such a change to go from being on tv and really dancing and getting that spotlight on him to go to just creating content and you may collab with this one or that one but it's nothing really to it as we can see it's people who aren't even seasoned dancers or professional dancers that can gain a tiktok following or a youtube following from just doing a little a few moves you know in my view it it would be hard for me to feel feel like i'm doing what I'm set out to do. So these are the reasons, let me just lay it out. These are the reasons of why I do think that him committing suicide is highly likely. Number one being his age, just discuss that. Number two, I feel like any one of us 
will feel as though we are losing our personal identity you know in a marriage or within raising children and number three it was said that there was a suicide note oh and i hope that that note never gets out let me just say that reports said that it was alluding to twitch having some investments go south and possibly losing a lot of money and that is another thing that led to him taking his own life and it's just tragic you know the stock market and investing period if it's not real estate and that has to be picky too it's really a tough game it's really tough to lose out or lose thousands of dollars and still you know be okay especially if you were persuaded you know constantly to invest 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 and it just end up being a scam or just went belly up etc etc all of those things i feel like contributed to his demise but i really wish that he would have felt comfortable enough to come out and talk about you know his demons um and i know that's a lot to ask for especially in the view of a man there is no space to complain but i wouldn't say that venting is complaining or tell you know people who love you what really scares you as a man it is okay to be scared as a man it is okay to express your feelings it is okay for you to have feelings because things like this happen when to everybody else you're this calm cool guy you're very confident and thorough to your wife you're a good husband a good father a good dancer etc but to yourself just in a room with just you you know the truth and this happens with a lot of people you know what people don't know and that's the truth everybody if somebody takes their life who you wouldn't expect it everybody is going to say this is confusing he wouldn't do that something ain't right here but it's these moments all to yourself where you ask yourself was it worth it was all my hard work worth it and those demons will either take over or you will prevail and i wish he would have prevailed through that when i think about suicide i think of it as like a 50 50 of it takes a lot of strength and i say that because as individuals we have a certain will to to survive it takes a lot for you to actually go through with it as much pain as you have in those moments it it requires strength too but when you think about the kids the small kids especially the teenager because she knows exactly what is going on the people that hurt the most are them i wouldn't even say jump to conclusions and say that the wife had anything to do with it who wants to raise kids all by themselves especially if there was no life insurance plan you damn sure can't get paid in no policy off of committing suicide and i'm not sure about that but i don't think so you know so it, it just wouldn't make sense in 2023 let's leave all of the conspiracies behind stefan twitch boss his funeral was just the other day and y'all need to let that man rest if you can't imagine how mentally and physically tired a person that has worked for a damn long time is purely exhausted he was in a lot of pain and who are we to disregard that 
who are we to disregard depression another person's pain and i think that a lot of times when somebody subscribes to a person or watches them a lot or what have you they really feel like they know that person but you don't you don't wake up and go to sleep with that person and even people that do that they don't see it coming i really think that people they believe that they know who twitch is on and off the camera and that's not the case that's not the case at all i'm praying for his family i think that he still has his mom and dad which your parents should not in no circumstances have to bury their children i just wish that he would have considered all of those things and talk to somebody you know instead of locking everybody out and this is a tip for everybody like just at least have that one person that you're a hundred percent honest with because you never know what a simple conversation can do sometimes people have too many conversations with just themselves about these things and to the point where they're scared to even relay it to anyone so i'm praying for his family his children his wife and all who loved him i don't want to hear nothing about white and black because at the end of the day, it's who he chose to be with. I seen some comments that said stuff like white women kill their husbands all the time. We can't say that for all. I didn't watch Snapped and there been some black wives on there too. Or black girlfriends. So, I mean, I don't want to keep going back to race and things like that. Yes. It would be challenging for me myself to raise biracial kids because I got to teach them totally different things. You know, I got to I mean, of course, you got to teach all your kids to to love themselves and to not believe what people say you are or things to that nature. But a lot does go into it that a lot of people are not prepared for. Um, and that's where I'll leave that. So with all that being said, it's your girl B. Octavia and I will see y'all in my next video.